What is going on guys, it is Rising Sims here, welcome to the final episode of this beta series. Um, we take a look, I wish I started recording this, but I didn't think that this would um, continue. Um, we left at the... Fulham? Defeat? Um, lots of uh, two goals, just conceding two goals and losing, we are relegated, but then we beat Norwich 2-1, then we beat Tottenham 2-1, and Tottenham are 12. Like, the league table is so strange, right? Liverpool winners, you can guess that one. How? Wow, that's not even confirmed yet. If Liverpool lose, who are Liverpool playing? Who are Liverpool playing? Arsenal. If Arsenal beat Liverpool, and United win. Who are United against? I'm I'm curious. Everton. If wow, okay. But um, yeah. So Arsenal are there. Where's Everton? <laughs> Everton are tenth. Leeds are fifth, and we beat them one nil. Start of the season, I think it was. Was it one nil? Was it? It was three nil. And they finished above us. But yeah, we are relegated. Uh, we will finish rock bottom, like the media predicted. Not a lot we can do. However, promising finish. 2-1-2-1, two, 0-0 one, two, one, nil, nil against Brighton. Mm. Not a lot you can do. Uh, pretty sure the Brighton game, yeah, we lost the Brighton game. So it's an improvement. And then 3-3 three, three against Fulham. Again. So, into the final game, we've got some injuries. Van Aken's out injured. Um, Penny's still injured. Delic shouldn't be playing. We have to take him off. <laughs> oh, dear. This is a nothing game, really. Uh, but we're going to go with Dahlberg and goal, Rico, Cook, Vino, and Iorfa. Davenport, Giovanni, Campbell, Danjima, Parrot, and Brown. Parrot is back on loan. Next season, even though it doesn't matter, but uh, Campbell is also back next season. This se series has been unique, to say the least. Um, Define expectations two seasons in a row, uh, and then just getting absolutely smacked. Um, probably the Viner transfer. <laughs> wasn't a smart transfer looking at it in retrospect paying a lot of money for a player that he probably has made it up in shirt sales don't get me wrong but at the time it probably wasn't a good piece of business and we nearly scored then straight off the bat hopefully we can finish on a winning run um that's really all what we've got to try and salvage, really, of this disastrous season. But the first time I've ever done an FM save on YouTube at the time, like, first time in a while since I've done daily uploads on a channel, especially a brand new channel. Um, it's good, because it gives me something to do whilst I'm furloughed and everything. However, it it does put into retrospect what people like Lelujo, Zealand, second yellow card, when they stream this game every day. It, I wouldn't say I'm burnt out from the game, because I'm not. Like, I love playing this game. A nil nil at the moment, this is pretty good. Uh, um, but the thought of, oh, I can't play this save that I want to play because if I play too much when I can't record you then can't play the game so it's a bit frustrating in that respect but that's where having a gaming addiction comes into it where you just don't, don't want to put a game down which is a given considering it's a brand new game and Maya now 
pressing forward. Lewis crosses it in. Dahlberg, good save. Who are we going to bring on? Because this is just a throwaway game. Um, we'll leave Parrot. Oh, he's improved. Just realised that. So these guys, they've all improved, which is good. Um, let's bring on him for him. Uh, let's take Brown off and bring on Harris there. Looks like we're taking off D'Angelo. Now we'll take off. We'll just do that. A good save again there. Just catching it from Dahlberg. But it's gone all right. I've, it is something on which, obviously, I'm not going to stop because I want to continue this. I want to get a main save going. And with a main save, especially in the lower, lower leagues, where you could have... But especially in the Vanarama Nationals and like the South North and the actual National, I believe, you don't have a transfer window. So there's always going to be new players coming in, which would be... See, we end on an unbeaten run. Five games unbeaten. But... Um, there we go. Prove people wrong. But they're the seasons in which you can just play and play and play and not focus, so to speak, on the recordings. I I think as well. Especially if it takes some time to get out of the leagues. But only time will tell, really. Um we're looking at we received two million for finishing. I don't get that. What like two million? Two million for finishing twentieth, right? When you look at the rules. If you're relegated, okay, I I understand that. If you're relegated, you shouldn't get as much as people finishing first, right? But that should be spread out so much more evenly. Because if you finish 17th, you get 20 million more than if you finish 18th. It just does not work. But we do get 41 million. Next year, by the looks of it. Uh, let's, let's read. Oh, let's read this. So parachute payments: forty-one million given in first year, thirty-two million given in second year, sixty million given in third year for clubs not relegated one season. So we actually get those two. So hmm, it's not that bad, but we will be going into the end of season review. Um, yeah, <laughs> as if. By absolute timing, really. Um, we'll just go through this. Uh, really bad. <laughs> so bad. I still got a B minus. Right, biggest win is the four 0 against Hull in the Carabao Cup. Match to remember was the one 0 against Cardiff, and goal of the season was Danjima's ninth minute goal. Oh. If we can go back. So let's have a look at his ninth minute goal here. For goal of the season. Come on. <laughs> he got an 8.9 this game. It was... Is this the goal where he just ran through everyone? Yeah, we got this on video as well. So it's always good to see that goal. All right. Team of the season, Dahlberg, Rico, Van Aken, Cook, Viner, Campbell, Giovanni, Danjima, obviously, Parrot, obviously, Harrison, Brown. And here we go. So, fans, player of the season was Dahlberg, young player of the season was Dahlberg, signing of the season was Dahlberg, goal of the season, Danjima. Top goal scorer was Parrot of 10, Izzy Brown with five assists. Most player of the match awards is a goalkeeper in Dahlberg, four. And he also had the highest average rating. If you round it up, it's a seven. So it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we'll just go through this. This is the best 11. Max O'Leary manages to make it into the best overall 11. Of O'Leary, Rico, Cook, Van Aken, Iolfa. That 
does seem normal. Just obviously, I'd choose Dahlberg over O'Leary now. Midfield three of Teddy Bannon and Giovanni, which I agree with Giovanni. We did sell Teddy. Well, no, he retired. So, and has he gone anywhere? He hasn't gone anywhere since he retired. And then Bannon is now playing in Dunderlecht and his bossing over there. How did Dunderlecht do? Uh, competitions. What's the year? 2023. Where did they finish? Dunderlecht. Ah, they've still got games to go. Oh, they've got a lot of games to go. Their season finishes in November. Okay. Didn't know that about the Irish League. But let's say Bannon's going to go get a uh, good old winner's medal. That's it. But then Brown on the right wing, Harris on the left, and Parrot up front. We've got Westwood, who retired with us. He's unemployed. Uh, Zygla, who's still with us. Uh, Penny still with us, Campbell's with us, Brayton. Jack Marriott is on there. He is with Derby. And how did his season go? Seven goals and 23 appearances. Not bad. But that is obviously... What, what do they want? Sign players under the age of 23? With what budget? That's, that's what I'm on about. Uh, we'll just accept that for now. Very poor dressing room atmosphere. We will literally just go here and oh, wow, I don't think they're good enough for I don't think they're good enough to bounce straight back up. Um They really do not think they could bounce straight back up, which is never good. Which clearly means that I weakened the team. Um, I don't know what I just promised him then, to be honest. I just kind of uh, clicked. But do we have the budgets for next season? No. Healthy in the bank, though. Healthy, healthy. But I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here that's going to be coming up. I've just realised that my face is really small on the top here. That needed to change. <laughs> oh dear. Team of the week, Cook and Viner managed to get in there. We're going to have like the Premier League team of the years and all that come out. Another double, another Premier League double. So Liverpool win. Really curious now. Come on, go to the next day. I just want to see if anything comes up on this Friday, and then I will jump to what I believe should be ah, Premier League turnaround. Here we go. Yeah, we're right at the bottom. <laughs> but guys, I will be back in just well for you a split second, but for me probably about ten fifteen minutes just because I'm going to try and find a site on which can help determine who we are going to start our main save with. Be right back. So guys, I'm back. Um, took me about three minutes to actually find a team in the National League. But through randomising, so you just click here, I'm just going to open up club profile. But just by clicking random teams there, Obviously, it generates, but obviously, I want to start in England. So I clicked, I clicked, I clicked. I, like, I, I think you can see how long this takes. <laughs> um, Vanarama North, there we go. So we have Chester as well. They don't have any star players. And then click, 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 and looks like we've got Eastbourne Borough as well. So now, choose a random number between one and three. 
Okay. So I will roll that in just a second, but we will have a look at them quickly. So best player is Wesley Fungook, who... Ah, yeah, let's, let's have a look. He's a defensive midfielder. Uh, what's his... So this is what he is at. That is literally it on him. Un unlikely injury proneness potential can still improve, which is all good. 62 rating. It's not bad at all. So we'll go back. Um, transfer budget of £10,000. Wage budget of £17,000. 14 training facilities, which is all right. 10 youth, 10 recruitments, basic. It's all right. Banorama national team. They are a professional team. So we don't have to worry about non-contracts and all that. However, Chester, no transfer budget, 8,000 wage budget. 11 youth recruitment, which is all right. Five youth facilities, which is bad. And training facilities is bad as well. Semi-professional team, not bad. Banarum, East, South, is that North? Yeah, so North, South, and National we've got to deal with. So East Bourne Borough, again, no transfer budget at all. Very bad. Very, very bad facilities. However, we go here, and I'll roll this three times. So one, two, three. All right, in three, two, one, boom. And we get the worst one. <laughs> so Eastbourne Borough will be our save for, well, our starting main save. So guys, if you are, oh, wrong screen. No, wrong, that one, there we go. So if you guys are looking forward to that start of the season series is, is going to be gentlemen i'm not going to stay with one club if i get offered more money for another club i'm going to jump to that club if it's viable if it's not viable then i'm obviously not going to do it but if you guys did enjoy the video and can't wait for the i don't want to steal lelujo's title but non-league to glory i'm going to say not 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 look Road to glory. There we go. I won't steal, I won't steal the non-league to legend bit because that is Lelujo's series 100%. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to not miss a video. I upload at 1pm 1, 1 every day. I'm going to try to keep at that, especially if I go back to work soon. Um, I will still try and get the 1pm uploads out. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.